Hey guys, it's Sugar and Lola XA here and welcome back to another Sims 2 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to download and install houses for The Sims 2. Uh, this was requested by some of my subscribers so I decided to do it so let's get started. Firstly, like how I always say in every single one of my tutorials, um, you will need to download WinRAR and the reason for this is that it helps to extract the package file. If you're on Mac, you need something called Stuff It to extract the file so go ahead and do that. So today, like always, I'm going to be using Mod The Sims. I trust Mod The Sims more than any other site and personally, I would advise that anyone should use Mod The Sims first before going on to any other site because I know a lot of my subscribers have commented on my custom content videos and stated that they have a lot of issues downloading and installing custom content from certain sites. So I have never ever had an issue from Mod The Sims and I've been downloading custom content from there for, for a year now and no i've never never had an issue so i'll recommend going there first and if you can't find what you're looking for then go somewhere else just to save yourself the time and the hassle there's a lot of houses on here which is what i like about this site um it looks really nice especially from tracy and manly um her houses are amazing she has great cre creative skills and her houses just oh they're just gorgeous um, today I want to download the Love Cove because I think it looks really nice and I want it to be my future house for my Sims 2 Immortal Challenge so that's what the house I'm going to download. So I click on the Love Cove and it will take me to where the custom content is. Here it is and it has little um, pictures of what the house would look like which it just looks amazing. Like, I just, oh my god, it just looks so realistic and it just looks awesome and I love it so much. Um, yeah, it's what the back looks like, the inside is really nice and open, which is what I really like. I like the garage, it's nice, and it has, it has, um, it, four bedrooms apparently. In the description it says it has four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and, you know, family room all that kind of stuff and the price you have to look at the price because if your sims can't afford it then there's no point you downloading it so the price is really high but i can afford it and it's a four by three which you can tell it just looks so amazing i love the house the bedrooms are really really nicely um decorated and it just looks so gorgeous and the most important thing you should look out for is a custom content list um, these are the custom content that is by the person and which is probably included in the file anyway and these are the custom content from someone else that is also included so that is great I prefer to download houses that have custom content included than me having to download extra custom content from other sites because that's just waste my time and it's very irritating so luckily this one is really good so then I go to the files and then I look at what expansion or stuff pack that is needed for this house to work and it's just the sims 2 nightlife um sims 2 open for business and sims 2 bon voyage if you have sims 2 deluxe then that's fine it'll work either way so i click on the file to download and it will appear here at the bottom and then you just wait for it to finish once your download has finished you then right click on the little arrow and click show in folder this should then open up your downloads folder and then you find your download mine is over here then i right click and then it should say extract to whatever the file is called if that doesn't show for you then just click extract files or extract here it doesn't matter it will still work and then i click that next i find my folder and mine is over here next you click on the folder and it should have a sims 2 pack file and this is the most important step because if you don't do this right you will not be able to get your house now you double click on the sims 2 pack file next a message should come up on your screen asking if you want to allow this device to run you then press yes a little box like this should appear on your screen asking you if you want to install the following content and it should say whatever the house you've downloaded is called and then you click install 
then this box should appear on your screen stating that the custom content has been successful now I'm going to show you how to get your house in the Sims 2 game if something like this comes up on your screen you then click enable custom content this may not apply to you but if it doesn't come up on your screen then it's fine there's just some of the custom content I have makes this screen come up so if it does come up for you please click enable or you will not be able to see anything in your certain things in your house then you pick a neighborhood that you want to place your house in so when you're in your neighborhood um, I am in Desperata Valley you need to go to your lots and houses and then your house should appear right on the first um, lot and houses bin and here is mine and all the information that you need to know is up um, here and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna place my house in my neighborhood just need to find the right spot for it um, so you place it wherever you want and this is the best place for me to place it and then you can rename the lot whatever you want but I'm gonna keep it as Love Cove and then it's placed and I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside the house okay so here is the house and it looks even better in the game than off um, than the pictures do oh my god I love this little area here I think it looks so cute um, let's go inside the house the, obviously the lot will be a little bit laggy for a while till it gets used to it oh my god the rooms look even better I like the oak finishing it's so nice oh my god I love it it's actually gorgeous wow this house is amazing I can't wait to play this oh my god I'm loving this house it's actually so great anything I don't like about it is that the plants are inside the walls but you can easily delete them if you want or you can move that it doesn't really matter I love this house it looks stunning it's so worth the download okay so that's literally it <laughs> So that's the end of the tutorial and I hope it was easy for you guys to follow and to understand. I have other tutorials on The Sims 2 on how to download and install custom content in general and also Sims. So you can go to check that out. There's a playlist linked in the description box. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them below in the comment box. I'll reply to you as quick as I can. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.